live from CPAC 2013 in Washington, D.C. It's Tea Party Patriots Live with your hosts, Dr. Gina Loudon and Jim Hoft of Gateway Funding. Good morning and welcome to Tea Party Patriots Live at CPAC 2013. This is Jim Hoft and I'm here this morning with a couple of true patriots uh, in the conservative movement. We have Kay Carl Smith and his brother Carney. Welcome with us again. Thank you. Uh, This morning we wanted to talk about an incident that happened yesterday. And what we want to do this morning here for Tea Party Patriots is we want to set the record straight. The liberal media uh, is is, uh, reporting several several websites this morning are reporting about an event yesterday where there was a minority breakout session here at CPAC 2013. K. Carl was a participant leading the, the uh, breakout session, and he was confronted by a, a man at the, uh, during the uh, question and answer period. Could you tell us a little bit about well, that? Just briefly, he stood up, and I was talking about Frederick Douglass. He made a comment that, well, uh, that he was a Booker T. Booker T. Washington type Republican, meaning that he felt that Booker T. was more inclusive in his philosophy, more of uniting. And I, I was going to make the comment to him, I said, well, you no, know, Booker T is the second Douglas, and uh, I was going to express to him how Douglas wrote a letter to his former slave master for giving him for all the things he did to him. He at that time interrupted my 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 statement and said, "Oh, thanking the slave master for food, shelter, and, and clothing." And at that time, before I got a chance to respond, the the audience turned on him and attacked him, except for the one or two people he had with him who supported him. But 99 percent of the people in that audience. Mm-hmm. Uh, gave him what for, so I never got a chance to respond. And you know, that's a big part of the story right there, that of course the liberal mm-hmm. media isn't going to report sure. yeah. that the audience here at CPAC came to your defense immediately, right. That, right. and you were in the exactly. room too. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. exactly. But, but the, the part of the story that's not being mm-hmm. told, what happened after we, I went to my table to do a book signing, I guess my, bro- my brother could really talk to that because I witnessed okay. the conversation he had with this guy. Great. Now, uh, and, and let's get right to that. Uh, so this uh, this happened at the end of the uh, session, the it was breakout Q&A. session. So it was, it was, was kind of wrapping up, and then yeah. and then uh, immediately afterwards, you went and started to sell and your book again. Is uh, I have a title? book entitled Frederick Douglass Republican: The Movement to Reignite America's Passion for Liberty. Terrific, terrific, and you're doing great things with your book and your movement. It's a game changer. There you go. <laughs> right, right. All right. Okay, so you were outside and you got a chance to talk to this man. Exactly. Do you, do we know his name? Uh, Scott Terry. Scott Terry, and uh, did he give us any more information about himself? Do we know uh, he, he was a student? No, he didn't share anything else with us concerning his uh, credentials. Okay. And uh, so he and I, he and I talked afterwards. Okay. And he he, uh, he informed me that he really supports a Booker T. Washington type of Republican. So we shared with him that Booker T. was influenced by Frederick Douglass. Matter of fact, so much so to the point that Booker T. Washington wrote a biography about Frederick Douglass. And no more no one no one was more inclusive than Frederick Douglass. So when he when he heard that he said, Well, I can I can go for that. So he he ends up buying a book. And he shook our hand, he said, I like that. That's amazing. So that shows the persuasiveness of the message and how it does change the hearts and the minds of people, no matter what the color is. You know, you have a good assistant here, <laughs> <laughs> which is actually your brother. Yes. But, uh, you know, that's great to hear the rest of the story and the fact that you guys were able to persuade this man, uh, who with the liberal media is calling some CPAC racist now, trying to label us all as racist. Sure. Um, and uh, yet you were able to persuade him to come over to your side of the fence just in, in a few short minutes exactly. afterwards. Exactly. It, was less, it was less than four exactly. minutes. I like to use the word inspire, because we share some things with him that he did not know. And he said, he said I, I can go with that. Right. I can go with that. Right. And then turn around, hey, he bought a book. Hey. So I don't know if he's going to read it, know, but he bought a so, book. So right there, <laughs> exactly. let's, let's just be clear. The media isn't going to report this, OK? We know that. We know that. But we're going to report it here at Tea Party Patriots, because that is important. Very. Um, and how has the reception been for you guys since you've been here? Very positive because uh, we have the message, and I'm, I'm, I'm be very strong to say this, to solve the diversity and inclusion problem that's facing the GOP, the conservative movement. The answer is Frederick Douglass. We have the bold solution. All right. And it yeah. sounds like we had a great example of that yesterday. Great it works. Um, you know, congratulations to you guys. You're doing great work, and, uh, you know, God bless you and all your efforts. We really appreciate, appreciate it. it, and thanks for stopping Thank you, by. It. Thank you for your time. Again, this is Jim Hoft at Tea Party Patriots, live at CPAC 2013. Thank you. Thank you.